so I am often asked about different movies and TV shows that are based around funeral homes and kind of my take on them and if I like them or not. So I'm going to give you a review on a few of those that I have watched and what I thought about them. So the first is Six Feet Under. I avoided watching this for years. I did not want to watch a Hollywood version of the business that I loved and the business that I was in. So I kind of avoided it. But then last year on, I think it was Amazon Prime, it popped up and I was like, okay, I'm going to just do this. I need to watch this. I need to see what this is about. And holy moly was I pissed that I had missed it for so many years because it was so good. You know, definitely the relationships are Hollywoodized and are kind of extreme, but uh, the funeral part of it and the things business-wise that the funeral home encountered were very actual to what was going on during that time that the TV show was coming out. The corporations and the changing selection rooms and the things that were happening in the preparation room uh, were so right on. I mean, they were so true to form and I, I loved that. I loved that they gave a real true depiction. Um, the ending, the last episode of that TV show was probably the best episode, last episode I've ever seen of a TV show. Like they wound that show perfectly um, to end it and I loved it. Um, they really encapsulated Green Burial at the time that was first becoming kind of popular and in the mainstream and so they, they touched on that and showed it. It was just, it was a great show. So I do recommend watching it if you want a perspective of being a funeral director and a funeral home. Um, not the truest sense, but it does give a good visual of it. Um, the second one that I'm asked about a little more recently is Family Plots, which was a uh, reality show on a and &E. Now, reality shows, as we all know, are not so reality. Um, kind of situations are set up and they go for the shock and awe value and so I did not like watching that. I watched it for a few minutes one day, so I did not get a great full spectrum reality of it, but I hated it because it was all about the drama of the family and how much they were fighting and, you know, they've gotten into some legal um, trouble since and, and so I'm glad I didn't watch and, and, and put too much effort into it. So it was not a thing for me. Um, My Girl is a big one for me that I, I loved when I was younger and just recently watched again thinking okay it's not going to be as great and I still cried I still got so immersed in it um, the characters and just the reality of loss and finding love again and um, kind of what we see widowers and widows go through at a funeral home um, that the dad went through you know the, the embalming scene was so not not even in even close um but you know doing the makeup and things like that there was so much um good in that movie so i still absolutely love that movie um bernie is another one that a lot of people ask about it was a movie jack Black played the character bernie so it's a real life story that was you know um, created and they used a lot of people from the actual town that it happened in within the movie so I really was excited to watch it because I do like Jack Black but it was so slow and boring I actually fast forwarded through um, quite a bit of it because it, it just drug for me but it's a story about this guy that's a funeral director and he's so well loved he ends up befriending this widow um, who's really a cranky woman and ends up killing her and is serving time for this and so it tells this whole story of it but it was just too drawn out and too slow for me um, interesting story but yeah I, I didn't care for it but a lot of people do um, so and then Departures is the last movie I want to talk about because I loved this movie so much as a funeral director I think it's the future of the business um, it's about it's all subtitled for us here in you know any English speaking country it's going to be subtitled because it's a Japanese movie it's about the care and love given to a body um, when the Japanese funeral director goes to a home and the ceremonial ritual of bathing and dressing and it's this dance done between the funeral director and the body and it's so beautiful and 
the movie is just it's a gorgeous movie how it's the music and just how it's laid out so I recommend finding it and watching it it's called departures it's truly amazing absolutely amazing and the only other thing because I just saw this again the other day I love the TV show bones love 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 it and I've watched probably the whole thing I don't even know how many times uh, kind of embarrassed probably by how many times I've watched so many of the episodes but it's my one that I'll turn on I'm one of those people I kinda have I like to have kinda noise in the background when I'm doing things so I'll turn that on when I'm cooking in the kitchen or when I'm working on something or whatever and I'll just be going well the episode where um, if you haven't watched all of it I'm sorry if this you know kinda spoils something where Sweets dies and they cremate him and they go to scare their cremated remains well I feel like they put so much effort into making things really really good in terms of the science and the, the terms and everything that happens and so when he's cremated and they go to scatter his cremated remains and they literally stand and he just floats out into the atmosphere out of the urn it's so far from the facts of how that would happen when you're scattering cremated remains that I was so saddened by the TV show itself because of that because they have strived to, I think, be so factual and true to form, and that was so far from it. So I was so, I was so bummed by that funeral moment on the TV show Bones. But that's a few of my reviews on some of the TV shows and movies I'm asked about more most often. If you have another one you want to comment on from me or a feedback on, post it below. Uh, make sure you subscribe and uh, like the video, and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Thank you.